Hey guys, it's Noah, and as you can tell from the title, we're going to be discussing how disgusting folks treated Rosary Ramsey. By now, everyone has at least heard of the four-hour Discord call where the Senate bullied a disabled woman. However, I haven't really seen anyone talk about the first call Rosa was involved in, the one that kicked off all this mess. I feel like that should also be criticized, not only to break down how things got as bad as they did, but to show how screwed up all this was from the very beginning. I've seen people say that they have changed the way they do the Senate calls since the 4 hour one for Rosa, which I honestly doubt, but good if true. However, the issues are, one, it should have never gotten to that point to begin with. These people were grown ass adults who knew exactly what they were doing. Plus, they knew they were dealing with someone who had autism and epilepsy. There's absolutely no excuse and people have every right to not forgive them. Two, the 4 hour call with multiple people isn't the only problem. Even one on one and outside the Senate, lie on them are still shitty which shows me that these people were never equipped for these conversations. And three, Lyle and the Senate still use the same hypocritical, manipulative talking points to this day. Like rules for thee, not for me, is something these people live by. If someone criticizes them, they will say anything to deflect from the initial criticism. For me, the Rosa conversation goes beyond that infamous Senate call. And I want to give my personal opinion that no one asked for. Now, before we start, a quick disclaimer. People with disabilities are not immune from criticism, especially for what we're about to discuss. However, you can do so without verbally abusing them. I know that people love arguing, why should we be nice to predators or why should we be nice to predator enablers? And it's because of situations like this. Because of y'all's actions, the focus deterred from Rebecca Starlight, the dangerous predator harper, and even Necopan, the literal child predator. A lot of people don't even know who these people are or the extent of their crimes. All these people know is that Lyle Convoy and Hopeless Peaches bullied a disabled woman. It's not about being nice to predators or whatever. No one's asking folks to do that. It's about not behaving so abhorrently that people feel bad for the perpetrators. I'm not making this video to redeem Rosa and convince people to like her. No, she definitely made decisions that deserve to be called out. And again, I don't take issue with the action of criticizing Rosa. I take issue with the motivation behind the criticism and execution. Like folks purposely ignored the fact that she has autism, epilepsy, and brain damage. They never took into account how these conditions affected her reactions as well as her perception of things. When I first heard that four hour call, I was of course disgusted, but also confused. Like, who is this woman? What did she allegedly do? How did we get here? I literally spent days <laughs> trying to understand everything. So I'm going to give a very simplified explanation of everyone we're talking about and how this call even happened. Let's start with Rosa. Rosa is an excessive Twitter user in her 30s. She likes cartoons and art, and by her own admission, she is a bisexual woman who has autism and epilepsy. According to Call Me Nail, Rosa also has brain damage due to repeatedly hitting her head from her grandma's seizures. She has severe parasocial relationship with Star Giant Productions, aka Rebecca Starlight, and was a member of her Discord server. According to Call Me Nail, she was a moderator on and off again, depending on Rebecca's mood, but we don't know her roles, abilities, or even the time frame. Speaking of Call Me Nail, people need to watch his video regarding Rosa in the Senate call. He was actually involved in the Nickel Pan situation and knows the people involved. His video will be the first link in the description. Rebecca Starlight slash Star Giant Productions is a trans cartoon viewer. She's a former editor for another YouTuber by the name of Mysterious Mr. Enter. She's infamous for her abusive treatment of others, harassment, not paying people properly, and knowingly keeping predators in her Discord server. Rebecca ran her server as a dictatorship, so criticism resulted in getting slandered, banned, harassed, or all the above, not only by her, but other Discord members as well. According to Call Me Nail, Rebecca's server was also filled with people who were mentally ill, so she most definitely used their vulnerability to manipulate them. With everything I just said, that's what initiated the first call of Rosa, right? Well, no. What initiated this call was a YouTuber by the name of Zaid Magenta, aka Misanthropony. Zaid was, at the time, a reviewer, Senate member, and Lyle Convoy's friend. Dude was infamous for his toxicity. He would talk excessively about things he disliked, behave aggressively towards those he disagreed with, wish harm upon people, make burner accounts to harass people, just all in all, not a great dude. Earlier that year, Zaid was called out for harassing and blackmailing a 17-year-old YouTuber by the name of Cartoonshi. Just truly deranged stuff. Cartoonshi himself made a video about that situation. I highly recommend y'all watch it and I'll leave a link to that as well. Zaid ended up apologizing and despite everything he had done, he was allowed to stay in Senate. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. He has since been expunged from Senate for disobeying Lyle and all his socials are gone. But still, that should have happened a lot sooner. Because Zaid Magenta was genuinely an awful person, Rosa became fixated on him. Kami Nail claimed she harassed him, but he didn't really go into detail how or for how long. All I could find were some tweets. Anyway, the last person we need to introduce is a person by the name of Techno. 
Techno was a commentary and review YouTuber. He had a series on his channel called Internet Horrors, where he discussed the crimes and deplorable actions of various internet figures. I'm using past tense because while making this video, Techno deleted his channel and his Twitter. I missed whatever happened with that, so I have no idea if it was related to the criticism regarding Rosa or what. Hey, Future Me here. So while making this video, I came across an upload of a call Techno had right before he nuked the socials. Link to that video will be in the description. In that call, Techno confirms that the Rosa situation suddenly making waves was a catalyst for him quitting commentary. He felt that he's done a lot of damage and he wanted to stop before he did more, but he plans on making a new lighthearted channel with his girlfriend. Techno also disavowed Lyle Convoy, Peaches, the Senate, and his former actions, but most importantly, he says that he apologized to Rosa and understands if she chooses not to forgive him. It can be argued that he's doing the right thing and taking accountability the best he can. It can also be argued that he's running away and removing his Techno persona so he can get a new start on YouTube. I'm going to keep it real. Personally, I'm just glad he chose to remove himself from the platform regardless of his motivations behind it. There are going to be moments throughout the video where I'm critical of Techno, and I still stand by those criticisms. You'll see why I continue to give him the side eye. But just keep in mind that Techno acknowledged that he messed up and at least tried to make amends. All I know is dude packed up and left. I'm kind of peeved because after his video of Rosa, I believe he made like two videos talking to Lyle and Miss Anthropony, and I was planning on listening to those videos for this video, but I kept putting it off because all three of those people were very annoying to me and now the videos are gone forever, so yay. <laughs> The summarized version of everything, Rosa was trying to get Techno to make an internet horrors episode on Zaid, aka Miss Anthropony. Techno essentially said, hey, I don't know nothing about this pony person, how about y'all come to my podcast and we can talk about it. They both agreed and that's how we got this mess. There were also some other tweets from Zaid, Peaches, and Lyle, but Lyle's were the only ones available, so here. Reminder that all this Twitter BS happened on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. This is truly chronically online behavior. As always, please do not attack or harass anyone involved. Now, finally, let's get started. Welcome, 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 everyone, to another episode of Technical Errors. I know it's not Friday, but, you know, when do I ever follow schedule? I've been gone for months, and then I come back with another video. Anyway, so today is going to be a little bit different. we got two different things happening at once. Uh, we're going to try and speed some stuff along here, but we're here with two special guests. we got Leo and Rosa, because recently <clears throat> we had a little bit of a... Let's say falling out, let's say recently I planned on adding two, three specific individuals onto my episode of Internet Horrors, but then doing some deeper diving. One of them I still hate, two of them I still find annoying, and the other one was kind of a misrepresentation of character, in my opinion, from research I did further into. So we're going to get started. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? We're going to start with Leo. Go ahead and introduce yourself. How's it going? I'm Leo Convoy. I'm a Thundercat historian, internet co internet cartoon connoisseur, and um, apparently I bully idiots on the internet, I guess. If you're already aware that your behavior can be perceived as bullying, why wouldn't you try to fix that? Like, regardless of your intentions, if your methods aren't good, people will be less likely to side with you. Case in point, this Rosa situation. <laughs> All right, and uh, Rosa, go ahead. I'm Rosa Ray Ramsey, and let's just say I'm a friend of Rebecca Starlight. I've joined her clique recently since I mostly haven't had any friends that are LGBT, so this is why I've joined her. I've joined her. This is why I'm a part of her company. Okay, so this sounds weird, and admittedly it is, but let me explain. Rosa can't really leave her house due to her conditions, so she doesn't have the opportunity to meet or interact with other LGBTQ plus people. So with Rebecca being trans and liking cartoons, Rosa was excited to finally have someone she was in community with. When I was using Nether to go through Rosa's Twitter, I saw she would always refer to Rebecca as her transgender friend, so you could tell she was pretty excited about it. But reminder, this was one-sided and parasocial. Rosa, let's get down into the uh, nit and gritty. Let's talk turkey here. So you recently uh, recommended that I um, add in Mr. Enter, the fandom menace, and the... Uh, and Miss Anthropony into it. And uh, recently I did do a poll on who I should add, who, which two. And looking back on it, let's just put it this way. I think the Phantom Menace is its own video where I might talk about why I don't like him, but it would be just that. Mr. Enter, I've done a video on him, but it was a review of the reviewer. I do plan on making a viewer, uh, a video on him, just like what I think he needs to improve on, the many failures as I call it, because I think he can improve. I think he has a lot of issues. And then we have the situation with, with Miss Anthropony. I hate to say this to you, but I think what you're saying about him might be a little bit of a misrepresentation. But do you want to go ahead and explain, like, why you think he would be an internet horror? 
Well, let's just say it was something that had to do with Cartoon She, which let's just say Cartoon She was 16 at the time and Miss Anthropony was still an adult. So let's just say Cartoon She was a minor back then. Okay, so is your argument that because he had drama with a uh, with a minor or someone under the age of eighteen, that means he's uh, he might be a bad person. Yeah, possibly. And who knows how many months? And the list of people that he went after, who knows how old they were? Okay, can I just say, calling it drama for minor comes off as dismissive in my opinion. Saeed wasn't having a back and forth with some annoying kid on Twitter. No, he got blocked by Cartouche, then dude made an alt so he could be like, Cartouche, you need to talk to Zaid or he's gonna make a video talking about you on some weird shit. Like this near 30 year old man continued to contact this child against their wishes and cause that child to have a panic attack. Zaid is absolutely a bad person for that. Before I let Leo take the floor, um, I do want to give a little bit of criticism to that. Um, I was in a drama uh, situa situation uh, a couple years ago with an individual by the name of Kez or Kel who um, doxed an adult um, because they wrote glitch tech fanfic. And I was on the kid side, which was very stupid of me. This was when I was a young channel, still trying to get up. And I just kind of just jumped in on anything, which thankfully I don't do anymore. But um, if that were the case with um, just, this is just a yes or no question. Um, would that make me an internet horror because I'm uh, in a drama with uh, someone who's 13, 14 years old? Who knows? I'm not saying it should be on internet horrors because that's his series, he can do what he wants. But this is a false equivalency to me. Techno not doing his research before signing with a minor is not the same as what we're talking about here. We know that the pony man did these things, like this is an established fact. Why aren't we more disturbed by this behavior? And why are we insinuating that Rosa's wrong for holding this opinion? Okay, so um, Leo, why don't you, uh, you go ahead and jump in. Uh, what do you have to say to that? Who knows? Since okay. that's probably a past event. Do you think that the, what happened between Cartoonchi and My Santhro Pony was not a past event? That's when did it past happen? Event. Can you tell me? Can you tell me when it happened? Can you give me a date? Who knows how old that event was? So you don't it... know. So you don't know. I can't remember because... No, you can't remember because, number one, you got the date wrong. You got the age wrong. Miss... Cartoon She was not 16 when that happened. Cartoon She was 17. Cartoon She was 16 when he cut contact with him. Ah. So you don't even know what you're talking about at all. So it was actually 17. So he yeah. was probably a mi still a minor. Yes, he was still a minor. Okay. So why are you acting like that's a gotcha? Like 16, 17 doesn't change the fact that your friend's a weirdo who harassed a minor. Lyle even agreed and acknowledged this. So how is this indicative that Rosa doesn't know what she's talking about? Techno didn't know the age of the minor he was just referring to. Does that mean he doesn't know what he's talking about either? And here's the kicker. Who held Miss Anthropony accountable for that? Can you tell me? Who was it? Me. You? I did bitch okay like <laughs> bro that doesn't mean anything what are you talking about <laughs> should rosa be harassing zaid if that's what she was doing no but you aren't the end all be all of holding people accountable lyle convoy talking about some me i did like bro get out my face imagine you're about to call someone out and then someone else is like whoa 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 you can't do that lyle convoy already handled it we can't talk about it anymore like bro be for real this is also crazy in hindsight because Zaid never changed. He wouldn't stop harassing people on multiple platforms and wishing violence upon them. It got to the point Lyle had no choice but to kick him out of the Senate because he wasn't listening and it was making them look bad. So yeah, Lyle Convoy holding people accountable just leads to escalation in behavior. Good job. So you and a whole bunch of other people getting offended on behalf of Cartoon She is laughable to begin with, especially you in your 30s when, hate to break it to you, and I don't have to say let's say or we'll see, I can say this as provable reality, those two share a server. And Cartoon, she tends to sit in and listen to whenever Miss Anthropony has to deal with one of his detractors coming in and getting stupid with him. Because we literally did that 10 minutes before this show started. Are you not in your 30s getting offended on someone else's behalf? Last I checked, Zaid was a big boy. I know he can speak for himself because that's what got him in the situation to begin with. And Rose is not even getting offended on Cartoon, behalf. She's simply acknowledging the awful things your friend did. 
Again, this doesn't justify the supposed harassment Rose has been sending his way, but that doesn't mean her initial criticism isn't valid. If Cartoon She is cool with Zaid, which is debatable because you can share a server with someone you don't like, then that's fine. They are the victim, they have every right to. But that doesn't mean the rest of us have to forget that Zaid is a freaking weirdo who has a history of toxicity. And this is how Lyle loses me. He doesn't know how to argue in support of someone without justifying that person's negative behavior. Also, can we talk about how insane it is that Lyle admitted to hopping a call to defend this man on a regular basis? Why was Zaid enabled for so long? He's strange. People have literally been demonized in this community for less than what he's done. So who are you defended for somebody else? Tell me. So, even though this is just, even though this is just something that's old, this is just sense to be put in a history, to be, as a part of history. Yeah, it's well, part of history. Literally everything is. What's your point? Can she speak? Golly, calm down. I think Rosa was trying to verbalize that Zaid has a history of negative behavior besides what he did to Cartoonshi, and she'll be right. But we'll never know for sure because Lyle won't let her speak. Well, if I could just jump in real quick, do you mind, Leo? Uh, Lyle? Or, I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your. It's Lyle. It's Lyo, like Lyo. Yeah, Lyo. Gotcha. Well, I want to say, like you said, it's part of history. But the thing is, you wanted him on internet horrors, and like I said, I shouldn't have done that poll because when I did just the scratching of the surface, yeah, it sounds bad. But then when I did a little bit more digging into it, you even sent me a lot of things. They didn't really show anything about uh misanthro that would say that he is a uh a internet um uh that would be an internet horror because let, let's just give an example i want to give an example um i'm good to have you here hopeless speeches i'm glad that you could join in oh no god no god please no 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 um so when we think about the internet horror let's look back to my Episode, which was that of Jonathan Ross. This was a guy who, despite being a very small channel, he made such a huge impact on the internet because this was a guy who was not afraid to let people know that he wanted to kill them, he wanted to dox them, he, he just flipped out a lot. And then it was found out that he was looking up child porn and he was working at an elementary school and he was laughing at people because like, oh, you can't do anything about it. It's not like you guys could do anything to stop it. And people got him fired and then he suddenly vanished. Or another example, let's look at Lily Orchard. I put her on there because generally speaking, even though there's a lot of things I talked about from her past, she's doing a lot of things now that are making it seem like she's very much a just a bad person to be around because she's very toxic. She's abusive towards a lot of people. Miss Anthropony has done right. Miss Anthropony, in a sense, hasn't even not talked to him right now. I even just talked to him in the dis in, in the Discord. He doesn't really. He he tends to do a lot of things that can be a little bit annoying. He can be a little bit a little bit obnoxious. He tends to call out a lot of things that people do that he will sometimes do himself. But that's not really internet horrors. That's like him doing anything illegal, shady, or narcissistic. That's just okay. He has his problems. That's it. Yeah, he definitely has problems. And y'all, the thing that really frustrates me is that Techno's reasonings for why Zaid shouldn't be on internet horrors were already said to Rosa on Twitter. He's just going to more detail here. As you just heard, Techno mentions that he's already seen the sources Rose has sent him. He knows all the awful things the dude did. So there was no reason for any of this to leave Twitter, honestly. Techno already explained to Rosa on the Bird app. He could have just left it there. He could have just said no and made Aaron and Horror's episode about someone he felt deserved it. But of course that didn't happen. So many commentary videos stem from situations that should have stayed on Twitter. And this is a prime example of that. Of course, that's it. Like I said, this is the same problems with Lily Orchard. No, 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 it's not. That well. It's you don't even know what criticism. Go ahead, tell me what criticisms he is to be given. I want to hear this. Well, there, if there is something that is, there are two sets of criticism. There is constructive, which is helpful. Okay, let me go ahead and put let me go ahead and put a pin in that real quick. I'm 37. I know what these definitions are, and I know what these words mean. I asked you what the criticisms are. I did not ask you for definitions of two different types of criticism. Well, let's just say that can you start a sentence? Can you start a sentence without saying "let's just say"? Is that possible? Can you start a sentence without sounding like a condescending asshole? Is that possible? Well, let's just say is Rose's filler phrase. Having filler words and phrases is common, especially amongst people with autism. It helps them gather their thoughts. If you were really interested in what Rosa had to say, you'd let her talk and stop cutting her off. Well, well, 
constructive criticism helps you improve. It can. But it can. It doesn't always. But then there's destructive criticism. This is the ones that feel like an attack on you. It can you know tear you down. It can. Keyword is can. So I asked you, what are the criticisms for misanthropony? I did not ask you to give me definitions of criticisms. I did not ask you to detail what they do. So I'm going to ask you for a third time. What criticisms do you think are valid for misanthropony? Bro, Rosa is setting up her arguments. That's why she's defined the different kinds of criticism. Constructive criticism is ABC. Deconstructive criticism is XYZ. When Zaid says blank, that is an example of deconstructive criticism. That is what Rosa is trying to convey. Have patience and let her finish. Also, I'm so sorry, Hopeless Peaches. Neurodivergent people trying to communicate must be so difficult for you. Ugh. To let something go. Really? And what is it he has not let go? Tell me. The Last Jedi, because... Okay, so dead you're, in, you're inconsistent. So what is the expiration date for topics? Could you bring up something that happened a year ago, as though it's relevant and prevalent, the cartoon C situation, but Last Jedi is off the table. So tell me, what makes the cartoon C incident more able to be brought up despite being old, but Last Jedi has to be left alone. Rosa isn't being inconsistent. These are two different situations. Zayed had an obsessive hatred for Star Wars Last Jedi. By the time he deleted his channel, this movie was almost six years old, and this man was still dogging on The Last Jedi as well as the people who liked it. There's a reason that some Star Wars fans felt relieved when Zayed eventually deleted his socials. This was a shared criticism amongst the fandom. And it's important to take into account the culture during this time, because that influenced a lot of fans' opinion on this matter. When The Last Jedi came out, there were countless videos and tweets hating it, especially from anti-SJWs. The Go Walk Go Broke crowd were absolutely fuming about this movie. And if you know anything about that crowd, you will know they will run a topic to the ground. They will grasp at straws to keep talking about it. Grifting was at all time high. So that's why Rhodes and other Star Wars fans were fed up with Zaid, because they've been hearing the same thing over and over for years at this point. There was nothing he could say about this movie that hadn't been said years prior. Fans were just tired. If Rosa was harassing Zaid, then you can criticize that without defending his obsession. And I can't get over the fact that Rosa's being criticized for bringing up a situation that wasn't even a year old at this point. There's always the mood. There's always the what? The mood? There's always the Disney movies. That's not what I asked you. That is not what I just asked you. I asked you, and I will repeat myself, and I hate having to do it because you're an adult and you should be able to pay attention says the 30-something year old man who's too impatient to let Rosa finish his sentence. I cannot stand the way this man talks to people. What is it about Last Jedi that means it needs to be off table for discussion, but the cartoon she incident is okay to talk about? What is the expiration date? What is it about Last Jedi that means it shouldn't be talked about? Tell me. The expiration date. Let, let me see if I can... Um... Let me see if I can explain a little bit better. Is there a specific time period where when it comes to a certain subject, you're not allowed to talk about it? Like once it's reached this point, that's where you need to stop. Quit bringing it up. Quit talking about it. Or I can do you one better. Here, here, let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do physical. Okay. So can you see the camera turned on Rosie or Rosa? Yeah. Okay. What is this? That's just, that's just Raphael. Okay. Should I not talk about this? This is just nostalgic. How old is this property? It's just way old back then. It's 38 years old. Last Jedi is what, five, six years old? So if, why is it okay for me to talk about Raphael here, but not Last Jedi? Tell me. I want to know. This is such a BS comparison, and I hate that he thinks he did something. In the past four decades, there have been countless comic books, TV shows, movies, toys, and video games that all feature Raphael. Generations X through Alpha are all familiar with Raphael because he's never gone away. You're comparing people still talking about a single character that has remained relevant through multiple depictions for 40 years to someone still crying about the same Star Wars movie after it was released five years ago. You can only talk about your disdain for a topic so much before people are like, okay, we get it, move on. And let's take a look at Zayid's comment real quick. First thing, why is this nigga in the chat when this entire conversation is about him? Hop on call. Why are you letting another grown man fight your battles for you? Is Lyle your daddy too? 
This is so weak. Like, the scariest people always type the fastest. This man only got away with as much as he did because he hit behind Lyle. And I wish more people acknowledged that. Zaid was a whole coward, and Lyle was nothing but an enabler. Second thing, this comment proves what I've known all along. That being, everyone always knew Rosa was neurodivergent. I mean, Lyle admitted he always knew towards the end of that four hour call, and we'll get to how I think he found out in a bit. But some of the other Senate members were like, oh my gosh, I didn't know. I, I would have done things differently if I knew. Basically just trying to save themselves. And let's be real. I find it very, very difficult to believe that you can listen to Rosa talk for an extended amount of time and not be able to pick up she might be neurodivergent. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I didn't know. Like, bruh, get out my face. Listen, there is something that's a dead topic and then there's something that's nostalgia. And who is the arbitrator for these discussions? Who makes that rule? Is there is it done by a committee? Is there a council that gets together and decides it? Tell me, who's the arbitrator for that? There's something that's old and something that is new. I asked you to tell me how you get to that conclusion. Who oh. makes that decision? <clears throat> Sorry. That is what I am asking you. And I need you to learn to focus on what I'm asking you instead of what you want to answer. Again, I cannot stand the way this man talks to people and talks over people. Let Rosa speak. Give her time to collect her thoughts before bulldozing through with bad arguments. Zaid made seven videos discussing his problems with The Last Jedi. Then he dropped a three hour video discussing even more problems with The Last Jedi. Then, a few days before this call, he made yet another video discussing his problems with The Last Jedi, all over the course of multiple years, all while insulting people. This is not normal. Stop trying to manipulate Rosa into believing it is. Who makes that decision? Is it you? Is there a council? Is there a committee? Do I go before a board and petition them on whether or not something's nostalgic versus a dead topic? You tell me. Just who knows? Because... You say who knows a lot, but you sure can't answer. Okay, Rosa, I think I'm gonna have to start doing... I'm gonna have to start doing this, okay? So... He's asking very straightforward questions, but you're, mm -hmm. I'm noticing that you're answering them in a sense that kind of like makes it nuanced as in, well, that depends. Okay. Well, yeah, the, the, the problem. Well, okay. Depends. So that's, well, that's the problem though. That's the problem. There really is no nuance there. There should be an answer, which the answer should be, I'm just going to give hypothetical. Let's say he were to ask me, oh, when is a time period? When's the expiration date? And I answer, eh, I'd say 10 years, That that's, that there's no nuance to give. But there's also the other answer. There is no expiration date. Because in reality, we all talk about things when it's when they're very old. It doesn't matter. We will be talking about the original trilogy for years now. And there will be people who criticize it and think it's dumb and think it's terrible. We will be talking about the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, the live action one, for years now. We will be talking about the, excuse me, the J.J. Abrams one. They're always going to be talking about it. <clears throat> now, Sorry about that. Sorry to the audience for that. It's over and over. Um, the, the problem that I'm seeing, though, from both sides right here that I'm giving for the audience sake is he's asking, when is the time period? When do you stop talking about it? And you keep saying, well, that depends. OK, if it depends, what are some nuances? When in what situations would you say, OK, you can talk about this forever, but you can't talk about that forever? Well, if you say that to one more time, I might lose my mind. Ooh, scary lion, man. Ooh. Anyway, Techno, you can't say she needs to elaborate her points, then say nothing when Law prevents her from elaborating her points. That's not fair. Also, yeah, Peaches, not because it's wrong to say to a disabled person, but because it's his only insult. Okay. Sometimes there's. People just get sick and tired of it. Then why don't you just click off instead of getting doggone upset and schizo posting about it on the freaking internet? Why don't you just log off or block her instead of jumping in a damn Discord call? Like, what? So the truth of the matter is, here's the truth of the matter. Here's the actual truth of the matter. If it was Misanthropony praising Last Jedi, you wouldn't say a single thing out of your god dang gums. It's the fact that he criticizes it. Boo-hoo. And in this case, he wasn't even criticizing the movie. He was criticizing bad argumentation like you are making here for why people should not talk about the movie anymore. You couldn't care but less look, if it was good. But if look, it was good, if it was positive, you would keep your mouth shut. What is this man so aggressive for? Calm down. And doesn't everything Lyle just said also apply to himself? At this point, the argument isn't about Rosa's supposed harassment. It's about criticism, period. 
Why is it that Lyle Convoy and his little minions can say anything about anybody, but Rosa can't be critical of Zaid? If she was talking about how much she loved your friend's Star Wars reviews, you wouldn't be talking shit either. <laughs> Get out my face. And friendly reminder that Zaid couldn't handle people liking things he disliked. He would literally insult people for having a different opinion than him. Some of my screenshots are from a video calling Zaid out for this behavior and I'll link it in the description. It's so frustrating to me that Lyle is accusing Rosa of not being able to handle different opinions when that is literally him and Zaid. He is projecting. But look, there are some people that like it. But I don't care. Me? I don't care. And neither should you. But you know, there's always going to be people who like things that are criticized. What's your favorite cartoon? Tell me. There's a lot to choose from. I asked oh, you what your favorite one is. Just give yeah, me Rosa, one. He's... one. Yeah. There's a lot to choose from. Tell me uh, okay. one of your favorite cartoons then. Okay. I'm, I, I'm, before you answer his question, let me just explain this. Okay, look. Um, Rosa, when it comes to like people, I'm pretty sure Miss Anthro is you know, mature enough to understand that people will not like his opinions and people are allowed to say what they want. If they disagree with something they say, that is the internet. But there is a fine line between like, hey, I'm just tweeting about this or talking about it because I disagree versus getting into heated debate um, <clears throat> uh, over like why you shouldn't talk about this. Is that not what Lyle's doing? Is that not what Lyle is doing? And no, Miss Anthropony is not mature enough techno. Rosa sent you evidence that he's the exact opposite, actually. What is going on? And this is for Peaches. Why don't you just block her? Why don't you just mind your business? Why do you disappear whenever people call you out? Come outside. Now, the thing is, I am very cool when it comes to people's opinions. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say, oh, I respect people's opinions and so on and so forth. Because really, I do, but there's going to be times where I don't, okay? I can be that way. I can be a little bit heated, and I can be very, very passionate about the things I like and the things I hate. But I also understand that people are allowed to say something about it. The only problem I have, the only problem that I will personally have, is when people talk about something that they've never touched before. I don't like that. I don't like that, because then you lead off from misinformation and you say things that turn out to be wrong that need to be called out. Miss Anthropony, I can guarantee you, actually watched these movies and said, no, I don't like it. Here's all the problems. This is why I can point those things out. So going back Wouldn't to his question. Would it be good to talk about it once instead of a few times? Okay, well, let's go ahead and see. Let's see if we can apply that. How many times have you talked about Miss Anthropony? Well, there are a few actions that I... Oh, was it more than once? No. Was, it, was, it, was it more than once? Well, the answer is yes. A few times. The answer is yes. It was more than <laughs> once. So that means your values are inconsistent. You are demanding that Zaid hold himself to standards you personally refuse to. So why in the name of God should he listen to you? Why should anyone listen to you, Lyle Convoy? You don't run anything around here. Talking about some inconsistent values when this entire call is just that. Miss Anthropony can say whatever he wants, but no one can say anything about Miss Anthropony. And again, because I know how this community is, if Lyle was talking about Rose's supposed harassment of his friends, saying, yeah, he did this, but that doesn't mean you can do XYZ to him, that's not okay, I wouldn't have anything to say. In fact, I agree with him. But no, Lyle has just been dismissing valid criticism against Saeed because that's his boy. Like I said, needs to let this go. Again, I repeat, you don't abide by your own values, so why should he abide by your values? Do you know what the word hypocrisy means? I do so know. All right, then do you recognize that you are in fact a hypocrite? More likely. Good. That... At least you'll admit that. At least you're honest about one thing in your awful life. Bro, you have a whole wife, yet you literally spend all day arguing with people half your age. You have no room to talk about anyone else's life. Also, Rosa wasn't agreeing with you. You just won't let her speak. So let's go ahead and continue down this road. I asked you, what is one of your favorite cartoons? Do you have an answer yet? Well, it's primal. But like I said, I've okay. moved on hold from on. it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You haven't moved on from primal if it's one of your favorites. If somebody is online talking positive about primal, are you going to go in the comment section and tell them to stop talking about it? Well, let's just say I'm already waiting for a new episode for my favorite web series. What's your favorite web series? Oh, the boss. Holy crap, you're stupid. How is she stupid? You just told her that she hasn't moved on from Primal, and she replied that she already has a new show lined up. Rosa was correcting the assumption you made about her. 
Come on, Lau, you're 30. You should be able to pay attention. Keep up. Okay, so hell of a boss. Hell of a boss premiered over a year ago. Shouldn't you just let it go and move on? Well, there's an, there are new episodes that are waiting to come out. Okay, so you can't talk about previous ones then, right? You can't talk about episode one anymore, right? That's outside of the ballpark. I just rank, rank which episodes are great. No, 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 no. I asked you a direct question, and I require a direct response. So you can't talk about episode one of that series ever again, right? I mostly give my thoughts on them, and then I move on okay. to the new Okay, again, episode. you are inconsistent. You are a hypocrite, and you should be mocked for it. Because the truth of the matter isn't that Miss Anthropony needs to stop talking about this. The truth is it hurts your feelings. You don't like people being negative about something you like. Welcome to adulthood. You are 30 years old. You should know this by now. This is embarrassing for you. Y'all, what's wrong with this man? <laughs> like, Julie, what's wrong with this nigga? You should be mocked for it. Like, <laughs> bro, get a grip. This whole thing says more about you than it does Rosa. The only embarrassment is you, my guy. And he should be mocked for it. <laughs> And do y'all see the pretzels Lyle is twisting himself into to justify his friend's obsession with The Last Jedi? Y'all see how this went from Zaid has an obsession with this movie to Rosa thinks people shouldn't talk about older media? Do y'all see the blatant manipulation going on here? And this is what Lyle does to this day. You don't even know what the word bigot means because you keep calling this anthropony one. Can you tell me how he's a bigot? It's mostly that I found out when I watched the video, he's mostly bigot against China. Wait, 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 what, 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 do you wait, know what? You, do you know what bigot means? There are certain types of bigotry that I know. No, no, okay, no, 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 Rosa, okay, I hate to do this, no, bigotry and racism are two different things. Racism is to, is the belief of thinking that one's race makes them superior or inferior to another. Bigotry is to see another person's perspective and not take into their accountability for it. You do not, uh, uh, appreciate opinions that are different from yours bro what are you talking about racism is a form of bigotry all the isms and phobias fall under bigotry to be a bigot means to be discriminatory or prejudiced against a group of people and if you're one of those annoying well actually the official definition says racist is listed as a synonym so there i think techno was thinking of the words ignorant or narrow-minded which ironically fits loud convoy to the t it's also about their precipice or about their membership to a specific group. How is he bigoted towards China? Can you give me a citation on that one? If only y'all would have seen the video and see what I mean. Which video? Tell me which one. That new one that he just talked he about. He did not say anything bigoted about China in that video because you're talking to the thumbnail maker of that video. Girl, okay? Like, what does you making the thumbnail have to do with anything? That doesn't mean you watch the video. Those can be two mutually exclusive things. And tell me, why would he think it's a good idea just to... Just he was critical so of the fact that China likes to censor things, and they sit there and they do so, and Disney still wants their money. They literally filmed Mulan away in the area of a Muslim concentration camp. Is what I said about China then bigoted? Tell me. Then, then tell me, why do you keep enabling his bad behavior? How is his behavior bad? Give Wait. me your litmus test, because you're already a hypocrite. Tell me what behavior his is bad, and tell me how it's bad. I want to know, right now. Lyle Convoy, you just got mad that Rosemary Ramsey brought up the cartoon she incident. Your friend made a burner account to harass and blackmail child because said child blocked him. And in response to that incident, you kept Zaid in your server and continued to shield him from criticism. Just like now. You do not get to sit there and say Rosa needs to let the cartoon she incident go, then later ask her to give examples of Zaid's wrongdoings. She did. That's why we're here. Also, I have no evidence that he was bigoted towards China, but considering the Senate is just like a Discord Kiwi Farms, I can believe it. And tell me how it's bad. I want to know. Right now. It's mostly calling people autistic lunatics. Tell okay, me that. Okay, cool. He's on he's on the spectrum. Do I go tell a black person not to say the N word? Yeah, and I and not only that, Rosa, you're talking to someone who the host of the show who has talked about being autistic before. He I'm on the spectrum as well. Now, I honestly don't care 
personally when people use autistic as an insult. I just don't let it bother me. And on top of that, hate to tell you this, it's a 100% accurate descriptor because every person we have gotten in call, which by the way, you keep lying about, lying, you are intending to deceive, has been a person on the spectrum who has been genuinely insane in one manner or another. Because you're talking, again, to the person who owns the server we have these conversations in. You don't know dick all about what goes on in that server. Don't sit there talking on Twitter about how, well, this person told me about what happens there. He doesn't know either. He's never been there. You're such a weaselly little liar at the age of 30. You're pathetic. Do you know that? Unless every person that they talk to disclose that they're on the spectrum, Lyle has no way of knowing that for a fact. He's just associating supposed negative behaviors with autism. And let's just say all those people did disclose that they're on the spectrum and Lyle is telling the truth for once. Then he just confirmed that how he's talking to Rosa is how he regularly talks to people with autism. This is the norm for him. That's why he said he didn't think it mattered in that four hour call. How many Rosas don't we know about? Like, how many Discord calls didn't have Ponder Sprocket to come save the day? This is so disturbing. And bro, there are also black people who don't like the n-word and that's completely valid. A lot of people use autistic as an insult or as a negative descriptor. Some autistic people don't care and that's the right, but there are others who do and that's also the right. Zaid can use autistic as an insult if he wants to, but Rosa is still allowed to feel a way about it. She's not wrong. Lastly, Rosa hasn't lied about anything. If she's saying she heard something from someone else, repeats it, and that information turns out to be false, then at worst that's a rumor or misinformation. And you don't have to be in y'all's raggedy senate to know what goes on when leaks and videos like this exist. The audacity of this lying ass lying to get on anyone for being dishonest. Like, I'm so annoyed. Look, Rosa, um, I've even said it before. You helped out a little bit by giving me some ideas on who to put yeah. on for internet horrors. So I can appreciate mm -hmm. that. I didn't know about pollution, pollution entertainment and such. And I only briefly knew about Jerry Lee Lofner for a while until I watched a Mr. Ballin video on the guy, I think it was. But um, the thing is, from what I'm hearing from this, it sounds more like you're upset that he like he dislikes something that maybe you personally like, but then you're also making these arguments that say he needs to stop beating a dead horse. Well, then I was planning to stay neutral through all this and let you guys go through it, but I can't actually anymore. I can't. Why do you get to bring up Cartoon She, but he cannot talk about a five-year-old movie and explain like why these defenses are bad and why these um and why these people who are making these horrible defenses are not that smart. Like these are not smart defenses. These are bad. In my honest opinion, Techno was never neutral. Like he's behaved cowardly this whole call. If I was hosting a podcast and my guest was talking the way Lyle has been talking to Rosa, I would have been shut that shit down. Cause you're not finna talk to people any kind of way, especially now on my show. You're gonna act like you got some sense or you're out. YouTube video be damned. While making this script, it took me hours to get through not even 30 minutes of this call because Lyle doesn't know how to remain cordial and it pisses me off. Yet Techno hasn't said a single thing about this behavior. Not only that, he knows Rosa has a disability and he still allowed her to be treated like this. Well, Rosa, it sounds more like that you think, it, it, it sounds like she shouldn't be in the call. It sounds like she shouldn't be in the call. She doesn't have the language to defend herself or her arguments. She shouldn't be in the call, shut it down. Lyle Convoy won, yay, yay, yay. Now shut down the call. All this over a nigga that ended up getting kicked out the Senate anyway. And then Rosa was trying to help you out. She was trying to give suggestions for your show. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed. But like I said, that video that he just uploaded, how many, who knows how many of these people were minors? Okay, okay, th that's another thing. Okay, if you're on the internet, I even say this before, if you're on the internet, welcome to the Thunderdome. This is equal gains. No one cares if you could be, you could be a crippled, 60 70 year old woman people are still going to give their opinion on you they're going to trash talk you or whatever it might be if you cannot oh, go on ahead let me go ahead and make this very clear what do you mean what in the world do you mean who knows how many of their children congratulations a kid can have a stupid opinion too is he sitting there harassing them i mean actually harassing them i just can't believe what i just heard what do you Why mean you can't you believe this? what you just heard what Why are you talking you about this? What are you talking would, about? Just why would you do this to a bunch? Do of, what? Do what? Harass a bunch of minors. Uh, Rosa, Rosa, what Rosa. What are you talking about? Rosa, Rosa. How many? Okay, I'm just gonna say this. How many can we confirm 
are actually minors that he was talking to? Can we click on their profile and tell if they're telling the truth about their ages? And they say, yep, I am actually a, uh, a minor. Or like, can we confirm that? And oh, no, again, I wanna know. Uh, no, I want to know. I want to know. Who said anything about people? Hey, Mushmouth, I'm talking to you. I don't have to explain how calling someone with disabilities Mushmouth is disgusting, right? And it doesn't matter if we can't confirm for a fact that they're children. We don't know. That's the point. That's why we should be cautious about how we treat others online. It's called being responsible for your platform. You know what? Not even that. It's called being a decent human being. And you can say that Rose is being hypocritical considering everything that happened from Knucklefan. And you might be right. But this is very much a case of right message, wrong messenger. Because Rose's initial concern is valid. I love how Lyle just doesn't care about children potentially being harassed by an established child harasser. I guess we only care about children when they're groomed. I wish we could go over these people. No, I asked you a very specific question. What is harassment about telling a minor their opinion is bad? And then you threw to try to do this anime protag nonsense of, I can't believe I just heard this. What are you talking about? Are you literally insane? Then what do you want me to do? I want you to learn to answer a direct question. A direct question that I have asked you. Any time here, I have asked you direct questions. You have failed miserably to answer them. Miserably. Are you telling me that a minor cannot have a bad opinion? Yes or no? Just, I don't know exactly. Oh, I okay, actually let me, have... Let me, hold on, I, I want to say this. Let me make no, go on you, know, you don't care dick about children's safety on the internet. You couldn't care less. You're trying to I use it as some sort of club. You know dick off. Sit down and shut your mouth. You are talking to somebody who for the past four years has been in a doggone mire dealing with actual child predators and trying to report them and keep kids safe. All you are doing is sitting here trying to use but a minor as some sort of lever to use against somebody whose content you don't like. Do not play this game with me. You are not smart enough for it. Do you understand me? And it also comes down to this. I mean, is because they are a minor, does that mean they do not, uh, if someone is a minor and they do post something that is objective, um, let's say objectively bad, I'm not saying what they posted and what Miss Anthropony talked about, uh, what these people are using is objectively bad. And keep in mind, I'm using this for the sake of argumentation purposes. But does that mean because they are minors, they don't deserve to be called out or criticized or such? I just don't know much. Okay, I know you don't know much. <clears throat> so if you follow Lyle's nonsense long enough, you will notice a pattern whenever he or the Senate is criticized. He will downplay or lie about whatever situation they're involved in and flip arguments around to things that were never said nor implied. And I personally believe that he's doing both right here. First thing, the Cartouche incident alone already solidifies Zaid as a child harasser, so that's that. And second thing, that's not even what Rosa argued, Lyle's just flipping the argument. All she's saying is that Zaid's poor handling of criticism and hate could result in people being harassed if they hadn't been already. And some of those people could be children. This is why creator responsibility and creator mindfulness is important. If the person the creator calls out doesn't have a subscriber base to defend them, you could literally be sicking your fans on them. Zaid will go off on people and follow them across platforms to continue being unhinged. Regardless of what the other person did to him, that response classifies as harassment. And if Zaid put those people on blast to his audience, then his viewers could do the same, which, based on his own behavior, I personally think he would want. This behavior goes beyond just telling a teenager that their opinion is bad, Lyle. And even doing that can be dangerous depending on the execution. It can be argued in hindsight that Rose is a hypocrite and deserves his criticism. And maybe so. But that doesn't change the fact that Lyle and Techno are being unfair here. Also, if you're going to criticize Rosa for being hypocritical regarding child safety, then you have to do the same for Lyle. He's shown multiple times that he's willing to disregard child safety if his friends are involved. And he literally tried to ruin a child's life by falsely labeling him as a school shooter. Like, miss me with that. Uh, I do you care said, for... No, you don't. No, but you don't. I do don't you ever say that again. Don't you ever say that nonsense safety. again because you have proven, you have proven that you don't. You want to know how I know that? You remember how we brought up the fact that you said that, oh, they harass cartoons, or not cartoon, she, uh, how they harass Crimson Mayhem, and I told you Crimson Mayhem failed to report a child predator, and you said didn't you didn't know, know that? that. Yes, you did know that because you responded to his thread talking about it. Okay, quick backstory. A few years back, there's a predator called Toon Critic Y2K. According to Lyle, he made a server to mass support him to the authorities and Crimson Mayhem joined in. They had a group split up into different units to report Toon Critic to the local police departments. But when it came time to report, Crimson Mayhem ghosted. We don't know why. I'm gonna be real, Lyle is a very unreliable narrator and I feel like there may be more to the story but he's the only narrator we have and I couldn't find Crimson's tweet, so I'm gonna go off Lyle's word. 
Crimson ghosting after he agreed to help is scummy and definitely worthy of criticism. Keyword criticism, not harassment. It can be argued that Rosa isn't in the position to be talking about caring for children. And that's fine. That said, I don't like Lyle's argument. Because for me, those two things do not correlate. If Crimson Mayhem was harassed, Rosa not wanting that to happen doesn't inherently mean she or anyone else doesn't care about children. Would her wishing death upon him mean she cares about children more? I mean, come on. Lyle and his minions do this a lot and it's very, very annoying. Either you do XYZ or you don't care about kids. This is especially annoying because Lyle low-key justified them being harassed earlier. Matter of fact, I'm going to pass this to Tech and let him take a look at your response. What's this? And then I'm gonna... I All right, I'll give you the background this. as I. He didn't I yes, tell you me. yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You what lying a, piece of garbage. I I'm set the wait right now. Okay, go ahead. Let me see this. Let me... He didn't tell me. Wait, let me he see this. Literally, let me. I'm. I'm giving it to you on Twitter. There's the image of her tech of her response, and here's the initial thread. So let me go ahead and walk you through this, since you magically forgot in less than a year. Because years ago, I'm not done. Was... I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm explaining the situation to Tech, and you will sit there and you will listen. Or what? Or what, loud convoy? What are you gonna do? This man really thinks he runs something because he talks big behind the screen, and I hate it. He can talk over Rosa all he wants, but God forbid she talks over the great Lyle Convoy. Rules for thee, not for me. A few years ago, a friend of mine started a massive server in order to report a child predator by the name of Toon Critic. And, uh -huh. and Car or Crimson Mayhem hopped in saying, oh, he's totally going to be involved, guys, until it became go time. Until it became time to actually report him, then Crimson ghosted literally everyone. And then we get to last year. We get to last year where Crimson was lying about Misanthropony, saying that Misanthropony threatened people over Star Wars. I called him out on it. Look at Zaid's scary ass in the chat talking bit because his daddy's defending him. This is the weakest shit. Like, I hate y'all. He lost his mind, and then days later he apologized for it, and there's Rosa in the comments. Yeah, hang on. Let me, let me read this. Let me read this. Hang on. Okay, so here's Crimson Mayhem. It says... I was wrong. I did lie about Miss Anthropony threatening me a month ago. It was my fault for bailing out a serious situation regarding bringing a pedophile to justice. I ain't playing victim anymore. Leo had every right to call me out. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Glad you admit your wrongdoings, and for that, I for... What? Rosa! Wait, 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 what? Okay. Oh, my... Oh, my goodness. So this guy what? is admitting he could have bought a pedophile to justice. And you're saying, oh, you admit your wrongdoings, I forgive you. Do you not know what your critic... Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. I need a minute. I need a minute. I need a minute. Hang on. When did I say that? I... You said that the day he put that thread out. I didn't know that. It was literally in the topic. It's literally in the initial tweet where he admits that he failed to I report a child that. predator. How did oh you not know that you read the tweet and responded directly to it? Okay, so what I'm about to say might upset some people, but reminder, this entire video is opinion-based and y'all came to hear my opinion. Rosa genuinely didn't remember. As we established earlier, Rosa has epilepsy and brain damage. And guess what both these conditions can cause? That's right, memory loss. In Kaminel's video, he confirmed that Rosa struggles with her memory. In fact, she'll lose days, weeks, or even months of her life. I'm gonna leave two links in the description so y'all can read about how and why these conditions affect memory. I highly encourage y'all check it out. But yeah, in my personal opinion, Rosa isn't some manipulative liar. She's just suffering from one of the many side effects of her disabilities. How do you oh not my, know that? Oh my god, I can't, I, I don't, I, oh my god, oh my god, no. No. This is why I don't ever want to hear from you that, that you care about kids, or that you care about what people act like online, because you will excuse the dumbest of things if your friends are the ones behind it. I don't want to hear it. I just didn't know that. How did you not, how okay, did you Okay, so for Gator Creation, because you're asking, you're at, for, for Gator Creations, so who is asking this? So, according to what I've been told, this person, this this Rosa, had been in a Rosa. Stop before I meet you, okay? Because I'm not very happy right now. I'm really not happy. Um, Rosa had been in a had been Rosa. I will mute you. I will mute you if I have to. You need to stop, okay? Bro, she's hyperventilating. Are you serious right now? That shit is involuntary. Hey, um, can you have your panic attack a little more quietly? Thanks. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. And now we have the ability to mute people techno? Lai refusing to let her talk in a supposed debate? That's fine. Rosa being verbally abused to the point of crying? That's fine. But this tweet is where you draw the line. <laughs> Y'all get my nerves. Oh my gosh. So <clears throat> Rosa had forgiven Crimson Mayhem who admitted straight up, who had admitted straight up 
that he did not take a serious situation seriously in bringing an actual pedophile named Tim Critic to justice. A person who is an who actually went after minors and said and just bailed out on it. And she says, "Well, you admit to your wrongdoings, and I forgive you." Okay, let me explain something. That's the oh my god, like don't even. Oh my god. <laughs> Never want to hear you talk uh, about I, well no, 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 the minors. The mi I how in the world do you that. not again? Did you respond to a thread without reading it because you had no problem responding to the well? You made a mistake and I forgive you. Personally, I don't have a strong opinion about how people feel about Crimson in this specific situation because all he can do is apologize and folks go from there. The criticism against him is warranted. Like to involve yourself, then go ghost is scummy, point blank. But Crimson Mayhem is not the predator, and as far as I'm aware, he's not the reason Toon Critic is still on the loose. If there's a whole group reporting the same person and the cops still did nothing, then dude was always going to walk. These vigilante predator hunters rarely get the predators off the streets. That's the unfortunate reality. The knowledge that Crimson's involvement wouldn't have made difference is the source of my indifference, I guess. I still stand by my earlier opinion that not wanting him to be harassed isn't indicative of anything because disavowing harassment shouldn't be a character flaw. But I don't feel comfortable saying that it's wrong to be upset that Rosa forgave Crimson at one point because that just comes down to a different perspective. Just because I don't care doesn't mean others shouldn't care, basically. But what I will state with confidence is that Lyle called out Crimson for the wrong reasons. He legit used that as a gotcha because Zayu was being targeted. Do y'all not see the pattern here? Lyle weaponizes children being preyed upon as a deflection tactic, then virtue signals to villainize the people he's against. And people fall for it every single time. I, I just want let's I just want to let people know it's also based on it's based on my uh, connection to I might hop out of the live stream my thing is dying right now but it's also because I really need a minute I'll probably jump in in about a few minutes uh, this, I just don't even know take a break take a break go ahead let's go how do you respond directly to a thread how do you respond directly to a thread saying you admitted your mistake I forgive you while magically not reading it. Can you tell me how you can forgive somebody for a mistake they made without reading what mistake they made? I didn't know that. I kind of read too fast. Stop. Stop repeating yourself because here's the truth. I don't buy it. I, just I don't buy it. Maybe Rosa is repeating herself because she honestly doesn't remember and y'all aren't listening to her. Even if Lyle and Techno didn't know about Rosa's brain damage, Techno at the very least knew she had epilepsy, which again causes memory issues. So at least one person knew that Rosa had a disability that affects her memory, but that information was just ignored. The possibility of this being what was really going on, just ignore it. I don't believe you. This is why, this is why I don't believe you. And this is also why I will never, ever, 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 ever buy from people like you. The nonsense, well, I'm worried about the children that Zaid might say mean things to. I Zaid does not, didn't... I'm not done. I'm not done. Please listen to me. Why should I listen to you? You have lied this entire time. You have been Every... failed, you have failed to give direct responses. You have called somebody bigoted for not liking the corporate practices of a, dictatorship regime who are you seriously like to your core who are you what type of person are you someone who doesn't use child predation to deflect from the original accurate criticism that your friend is a toxic ass weirdo with anger problems and that's why y'all are friends you're all toxic losers who abuse people online to make yourselves feel strong all y'all were either bullied ostracized or homeschooled as children and now you gotta take it out on the rest of us how's rosa been lying this whole call when you won't let her speak how can she give direct answers when you cut her off after every five words and won't let her gather her thoughts? My feelings about a movie matter more than the lives of other people. My feelings about my friends, which cartoon, here's the truth of the matter. I keep saying cartoon, she, I apologize. <laughs> if you died today, Crimson Mayhem wouldn't shed a tear. He doesn't know you. I just didn't know about this. Jesus. And who was, that friend, who, who was that friend you mentioned at the beginning of this live stream? Rebecca what? Rebecca Starlight. Rebecca Starlight, who is that exactly? I just don't want to say her dead name. I asked, I asked who she is. I just don't want to say her dead name. Dead name? Her dead name. Is she a content creator? Yes. She was what's one her, of my friends. What's her YouTube channel name? She was one of my... I didn't ask if she was one of your friends, but you said she is your friend. Oh, that doofus who also failed to report a child predator in her own server and consistently dodges people who want to ask about it? Know. That person? Yeah, she did. We didn't know the yeah. we didn't yeah, know you... about what she was we didn't know what this person was doing until What person am I referring to right now? Until what we person? finally kicked them what out. What person am I referring to in this case? Necopan? Yeah, and to this day, Star Giant refuses to talk about it. In fact, Star Giant told me that unless there has been a court case, you can't call somebody a child predator. 
That's your friend. <laughs> your friend, your buddy, that you're so glad to be friends with because now you're part of the LGBTQ. Don't you feel nice and special surrounding yourself by a bunch of people who actually don't care about the safety of children, you worthless piece of garbage. Reminder that Star Giant Productions slash Rebecca Star was very manipulative and practically brainwashed people within her Discord. Rosa considered her a friend, but it was entirely parasocial. Yes, Rosa still had her own autonomy and could still be criticized for defending Rebecca, but it should still be taken into account that she was manipulated. Also, even if the criticism is warranted, it shouldn't sound like this. Nothing's being accomplished here, and Lyle knows that. You're 30 years old, and that's how you act. You're more concerned with the fact that Zaid says mean things about critics in a movie than you are about whether or not people are right. This is disgusting. What is wrong with you? Who raised you? Lyle. You weaponized child predation to win petty arguments on the internet. Who raised you? You bully autistic people online. Who raised you? You're pushing 40. You spend your life arguing with people younger than you. People young enough to be your kids. Who raised you? And speaking of kids, you allegedly abused your adopted children. Who raised you? Like, this is not the game you want to play, Lyle Convoy. And a reminder that this is the man Lyle is dying on the hill for. The nearly 30-year-old man that harassed a child. Rose's actions can be worthy of criticism. But all of this is a strategic deflection tactic to exonerate Zaid. Deny, defend, deflect. Like, that is the name of Lyle's playbook, and I need more people to recognize that. Let's just say I need to give my side of the story. Oh, let's hear it. I, I'm all ears. I didn't know about... Me and my friend Rebecca didn't know about what Negapan was doing behind our back because we had to deal with someone else who was, who was lying. This person was known as Lovely Lena, and of is course... Lovely, is if, Lovely Lena a child predator? Well, let's just say she's a... Sexist. I don't want to... If you ever let's say, just let's say just say again, I'm going to lose... If you say, let's just say again, I'm going to genuinely lose my temper with you. Do you want that? No. Not this man leaning into the mic that sound menacing. Y'all love acting hard behind the screen. Lyle, do this in real life. Do this to a stranger in real life. Do this to another grown-ass man in real life. Let's just say you'll get humbled real quick. Like, my lord, she's autistic. She's going to have filler words. Now, let me be very clear here. I don't care. Actually, I do care because I don't like liars, which is why I don't like you. But if Lovely Lena is lying, that is a lot, a lot less condemning than being a child predator. Do you understand me? So the fact that you're trying to use Lovely Lena as a shield for the fact that you guys didn't act, and to this day, Star Giant dodges me to have a conversation about this is disgusting. <sighs> We have Vile, deal wretched, damnable. Lovely Lena, lovely Lena lied. How is Lovely Lena higher rated than having a child predator in your server? Tell me that. Well, let's just say we didn't know that what Negapound was doing behind our backs until and you eventually. you didn't listen when you were told. You didn't listen when you were told. Because Call Me Nil has been trying to get a hold of your little buddy for a while now and has actively avoided her consistently and avoids me too. We didn't know that until yeah, eventually we found out. Until eventually, yeah. it was eventually you were more concerned. Out. You were more concerned with Lovely Leland lying to you than you were the fact that you had a child predator. Okay, so here Rosa made the mistake of defending Rebecca. Again, she was under the influence of manipulation and parasocialism. Rebecca knew what Nekopan was doing and kept her in the server for eight months, all because she was her friend. Rebecca always knew and chose not to take action. At one point, she even gave Nekopon the highest mod status for the server. Like, there's no excuse. As for Rosa in this situation, it is true that she was told. Kamineo confirmed that he and the others tried telling Rosa and she didn't listen. However, the narrative that Rosa kept Nekopon around for 8 months is false. According to Kamineo, Rosa knew about Nekopon for 3 months, and even then she may not have had the power to do anything about it. Apparently, there's also a screenshot of Rosa trying to talk to Rebecca about Nekopon and Rebecca telling her not to worry about it. But I can't find the screenshot. I believe it exists. I have no reason to think that was a lie, but I can't definitively say that exists. It can be argued that even if Rosa couldn't act against Nekopon, that she should have been more proactive about spreading awareness on Twitter or something. Or at the very least, she should have believed the evidence that she was shown. I think those are fair criticisms. However, for three calls, those Senate weirdos have been misplacing their anger and their focus. Everything y'all think Rosa did was actually done by Rebecca. It That's true of the matter. Before... To, answer, to answer nice stories, Lovely Lena has been removed from the majority of the internet. She only responds on Twitter and occasionally Facebook now. It wasn't long before we eventually dis it wasn't long before we eventually discovered what Nekapon was doing was wrong, and then eventually we kicked her out. Eventually. 
You eventually kicked her out. How long between finding out the information and removing her was it? Well, let's just say. Stop. Oh, my God. Can you start well, a sentence without saying, let's just say, eventually. I'm going to lose it on you. I'm going to lose it on you. How long? Give me days, hours, weeks. What is it? I'm going to say, like, uh, I lost track. It's been, like, a long Was it days? Probably. It took you but... days to remove a child predator. You I think it was it like took you days, probably, days, days. It should have taken you five like four days. seconds. It was probably like four, day, four probably days. Like four days between finding out someone in your server is a child predator and removing them. Are you stupid? Again, this was Rebecca's server. She had all the power. As we already established, it took her eight months to remove Nekopon, not the four days like Rosa claimed. Techno and Lyle will later cite this as Rosa lying but I honestly don't think that's the case. I think she mixed up two different events. Let me explain. Something that no one seemed to take into account was the second predator. No, I am not kidding. After the Nekampon situation, there was yet another predator in Rebecca Starlight's Discord server, and it took her four days to remove him. This was first revealed to me through Mr. Enter's DeviantArt post, titled, Regarding Rebecca. This was posted July 17, 2023. In this post, Mr. Enter says, Rebecca has protected two known and proven groomers in her Discord account, one that did allow minors at the time. The first was Nekopan, who she took months to ban after getting evidence that they were grooming children. Then there was Sean, who she took four days to ban after he literally posted child porn in her Discord server, live action, sexualized images of children. I also found this on Rosa's Twitter, which supports Mr. Inter's story. I don't know the exact date Sean was removed from the server, but thanks to Rosa's tweet, we can deduce that he was at least gone by December 12, 2022, about two weeks before Techno's podcast. When Lyle was hounding Rosa about how long Nekopan was in the server, Rosa straight up said she didn't remember because it had been so long ago. Taking into account, she knew about Nekopon for three months and she has memory issues. Isn't that possible that when being pressed for an immediate answer, her mind went to the most recent predator situation? Isn't that possible that instead of maliciously lying, Rosa just genuinely couldn't remember due to her disabilities? An autistic woman with brain damage is verbally abused over an event she doesn't remember, and people automatically assume she's lying when she gives the wrong answer? Why couldn't we give her the benefit of the doubt at the very least? If Rosa said any other number, I would probably have a different opinion, but the fact that she said four days suggests to me that she mixed up Sean and Nekopon. Also, Rosa had absolutely nothing to do with Sean or anything beyond the Nekopon situation. Just wanted to clarify that. Four days that person can continue to prey on children in your server. Four days that idiot sits nice and comfy in a server full of children. Four days! It wasn't long before Re it wasn't long before Rebecca eventually had started her had started eventually had just took down her old servant because she didn't want to in her life. Don't care. Did this nigga just growl? Like <laughs> Does, does he really think he's a lion? While listening to these calls, I noticed Lyle talks in a way that is dramatic and disingenuous. When he wants to sound angry or intimidating, he talks like an anime antagonist, like he's given performance. I'm not saying he can't genuinely be upset, I could just be looking into things too deeply, but between the cur and the days, 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 like, it's given LARP. I don't care about her taking down her server. What I care about is it took her days to take somebody she knew, knew, was a child predator away from her server that had kids in it. Don't you ever come to me telling me about how you care about children, you lying, disingenuous piece of garbage. You are 30 years old and you're pulling this nonsense. Not only should you be ashamed of yourself, your parents should be ashamed of raising you like this. They owe everyone a gut-readers an apology. I didn't know that. And now you have the audacity to sit here and try to play pretend that you have any moral high ground to talk about Zai being bigoted against China and who knows how many people had bad arguments that he coughed about in that video that were minors. You don't care about minors. What you can care about or care about is whether or not your feelings are hurt, you worthless, gutless cretin. I also don't have to go into how calling a disabled person a cretin is disgusting, right? Yes, it can be argued that Rose is being hypocritical and should have had better priorities. That's a fair criticism. But all of Rose's criticisms against Zayed are still valid. Two things can be true at once. Rosa's wrongdoings don't absolve the pony man of his own. Again, Lyle's using all this as a deflection tactic. Even if his anger is justified, this is not how you talk to people. This is not how you handle anything, really. Think about it. Imagine last time you really messed up. Was someone berating you at the top of your lungs an effective method of communication? Find God! He's the only one who can help you at this point! <sighs> Go to church! 
It's just so hard. Why is it? Why anything. is it? Explain to me. You're not going to know. You're not going to know. But can somebody tell me? Can somebody tell me why every single time I'm about to dunk on some idiot just for being stupid, there's always children that are put in danger? Could be because that's y'all's go-to method of dismissing any and all criticism. Could be because you're a predator hunter, quote unquote, and your community has a concerning amount of predators within it. Or at the very least, people who have been inappropriate with children, including your own circle. Could be because the art commentary community is legitimate danger to children because half these creators are freaks. That's just a guess though. And I love how Lyle's telling Rosa to like seek God and go to church. Babes, if your behavior is what God is teaching in church, I ain't going. Why can't you retards just be stupid? Why can't you just be laughable goons? Why do you always put children in harm's way? I'm sorry for calling you retarded. I've met retarded people. They're very polite, very sweet, and they wouldn't pull these stunts. They're a lot smarter than you. I... I, I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Where do I begin? I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. This man is not normal. Like, I, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with this man? I didn't know that. Go get your parents. Because I know you live with them. Go get them. I just don't... I just don't know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You dishonest, gutless weasel. So I listened to all three calls of Rosa being bullied, and I picked up on something. When Rosa starts to get quiet and says, I just don't know, that's an indication that she's overwhelmed. Rosa tweeted after one of the other bullying calls that she disassociates and has PTSD. And I feel pretty confident in saying that being yelled at nonstop triggers both. It's so shitty that Lyle keeps saying, Yes, you do know. Don't say you don't. Yes, you do. Like... Like she's overwhelmed. You shut down everything she says. Rosa doesn't know how to respond and she just wants to stop being abused. Even if some of the criticism is warranted, this is not how you handle it. This is not how you talk to anyone, let alone someone with disabilities. Also, throughout these calls, Lyle talks about Rosa's age, appearance, living situation, etc. And I feel pretty confident saying that the reason he knows this information when it wasn't disclosed to him by Rosa is because he's seen her docs. Lyle was the one who doxed her. That happened before they interacted, but he's definitely seen it. It also mentioned that she was autistic, so that's the reason he's always known she's on the spectrum. Lyle bringing this information up multiple times is not only uncomfortable, it's straight up invasive. He wanted her to know that he knew. It's a power play and it's gross. Please, and then I you just... have the audacity to sit here and try to moral moral post all over the internet about how Zaid's bad and let's just say they're a bigot, let's just say this, let's just say that. And then you come onto this stream with this poor man who has no idea about the depths of your depravity, because I don't either. And you make excuses for why you didn't remove a predator. You make excuses for why you supported somebody who didn't report a predator. What is it with you idiots? Why can't I just laugh at a fool? I why can't just... I just mock a moron? Why is it you always idiots always wind up putting children in danger? Why? Why can't I just have one night like I where said, I make fun of morons? I did not know. You did know! Like it said, took you four days! Know. Four days! One, two, three, four! Days! Days! Minutes is long enough! Who it knows? took you days to remove a child just, predator from your who, server! Who knows? I just don't, don't know! Don't you say who knows you knew! I know I sound like a broken record at this point, but I cannot stress this enough. This was not Rosa's server. Neither Lyle nor anyone else have any proof that Rosa was a ma at the time of the Nekopon situation, or if she even had the ability to remove people. Lyle can't get in call with Rebecca, so he's directing his anger at the next best thing. And because Rosa has memory issues, I don't feel comfortable stating for a fact that her saying I didn't know is a lie. It's definitely a possibility, but so is Rosa just not being able to remember. You are more concerned with lovely Lena's lying. Who cares? I deal with liars every day. I'm talking to one right now. If I had somebody pat me on the shoulder and say, Lyle, there's a child predator in this server. I'm done with you when I go. Good God, what is wrong with you? Who raised you? Please. Please what? You're... It's not me you should be begging for anything. It's God at this point. Oh my gosh. So, okay. M what am I missing here? Because this thing keeps kicking me off, but it's just, I don't even well, know. I, how I to thought think you were just this. getting overwhelmed and left. I, it, it, it was both. It was both. Techno, if you were overwhelmed, do you not think the person being berated nonstop would feel the same? If not worse, say something. I don't care what the topic is. If my guest was talking like Lyle, he would have been gone. The show would have been canceled. Techno is a coward. Her, her little friend that she mentioned at the beginning of the stream is Starlight Giant Productions, who apparently, after finding out there was a predator Damn server, it. went off on some pirate. You okay? Tech? I just uh, never knew anything. Shut your mouth. I'm not in the mood for your excuses. I am genuinely not in the mood for your excuses. I hate the way this man talks to people. Oh my gosh. 
I wish a man would tell me to shut my mouth. Like, oh my gosh. My own parents don't even talk to me like this. You really think I'm going to let a stranger do it? A man at that? Like, no, absolutely not. Because you know what? Lovely Lena's removed from the internet for the greater part of things. She can post on Twitter and Facebook. She's not going to post anywhere else. That's who you were worried about. You were worried about lovely freaking Lena. Somebody I could body in five seconds. Not the child predator. Not the accusation that somebody in your staff, your staff, was preying on children. No. Lovely Lena lied. Boo. Who? You lie all the time. How about we crucify you? Bitch, crucify? 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 Are you okay? Like, Jingling, are you okay? And if you want to crucify liars, then I have some bad news for you, liar convoy. I just... Don't tell me you don't know. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You're 30 years old. This is inexcusable. This is pathetic and laughable. Like, how did you get to this age without dying? How did you not choke on some sort of electric cord? Because God knows you're dumb enough to. No wonder you're like hell of a boss. You identify with demons enough. Can't have a single night where I just make fun of some moron being stupid. No, it's always got to have children involved. You idiots don't know how to act. You want to know who shouldn't be on the internet? You shouldn't be. Neither should Crimson. If you have a child predator in your midst, or you're on the job reporting them and you fail to, I mean fail to, like ghosting, gone. You shouldn't be posting anything. Because all he does is post for likes and clout. Boy ain't got a single backbone in his entire doggone body. Neither do you. And neither does love, and neither does... What's her face? Star Giant Productions. Going up. Tirade about Lily Orchard of all people. Don't address the only monsters in your community. <sighs> I'm only waiting for Tedno to get on here because I owe him at least that. It's... I thought you said you were going to protect your friends. Come on, let's hear it. Let's hear the protection of Star Doofus Productions. I just didn't know. I don't want to hear. I didn't know you did know. Come on. With all that fire and fury, you were going to protect your friends, right? Crimson Mayhem is a worthless, gutless piece of gutter trash. And Star Giant Productions is too. Frankly, they should both get into single-person car accidents with no survivors. Come on. Come at me. What are you going to do? You gonna then what am tweets? I supposed to do with them? Find better friends and learn to be a better person with consistent moral values that gets mad over the right things instead of whether or not someone's mean about Star Wars. Boo! Who? Someone said mean things about someone else's opinion. Yes, he hungers for hoes. It's so cringe. God forbid I care about actual children being preyed on. Wasn't your entire problem that you got mad that we made fun of necrophiles? Go find the noose. Make sure it's nice and tight when you jump hunger for hoes. Lyle Convoy is going to hell. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's going to hell. He has a one-way ticket in the front row seat. And I better not get any flack for saying that. Because this community let Lyle Convoy and the Senate bullshit slide for years with no pushback. This is disgusting. There's no other way to describe it. This is disgusting. And you know he felt so pleased with himself that he made Rosa cry. Because that's what bullies and abusers do. They go out to people who they know can't defend themselves. Lyle wouldn't go and call and talk to any of his critics like that because we wouldn't let him. We would give that same energy tenfold and then some. And he knows that. Lyle goes after the weak and has to have his little Senate minions around him to gas him up. Because he's a coward. That's why his PFP is a lion. He's a pussy. And then he wants to talk about some fine God, go to church, you like demons. Is this how a man of God behaves? Telling people to kill themselves, wishing death upon them? Who needs demons when we got Christians like you? Also, I love how Lyle's getting on Rosa for trying to defend her friends when the whole reason we're here is because he wants to defend Zaid. Because he was mad that someone had mean opinions, quote unquote, about his friend. Like, boo hoo, bitch, your friend's weird, we're gonna talk about it. And what really gets me is that, for years, y'all been talking about how President Man Luke called Hopeless Peaches a suicide baiter. For years, y'all been weaponizing the suicide baiter claim against anyone associated with President Man Luke. It even happened to me, and I don't even know the man. All I did was say just the robot's response to him sucked. Y'all been talking about the suicide better claim for years, while simultaneously telling folks to kill themselves. I hate these people so much.
Well, come on. Defend your friends. Remember, you're a force to be reckoned with. Let's hear it. I just don't have any words to say. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because there is no defense for them. But I'm glad you came on. I'm glad you came on, because now I know exactly what happened in that goofy server. You guys were obsessing. Obsessing over a liar when a child predator was running amok and he didn't care enough to look. And when you finally did, it took you four days afterwards to remove her. Thank you for letting me know. I don't want to hear any of you morons ever grandstand about another creator ever again until you get your lives corrected. This is asinine. You're mad about people like Lily Orchard who say other mean things. Boo who? So I you know what? I have no choice. No choice what? But to cut ties with him. Oh, you poor baby. You shouldn't be sad. You should be angry. That tells me that that tells me exactly where your values are. I'm so sad. I have to cut off my friends. <gasps> no. no, if I have friends and I have, unfortunately, in the past that have turned out to be garbage people, I'm angry with them for being garbage people. Oh, God forbid you have a different emotional response than Lyle freaking Convoy, the Arbiter of Emotions. Feeling sad about letting someone you care about go is perfectly normal, even if the person's trash. That's a form of loss. You're mourning the relationship in the person you thought you knew. That is normal. And this loss is going to hit Rosa even harder than most people because she's autistic. She has a difficult time making friends and forming relationships, and I'm sure her sexuality didn't make that any easier. In the other calls, Rosa says she just wanted to fit in. She just wanted a place where she belonged. She thought she finally found her place after who knows how long, and now she's going to have to give it up. And let's not forget how the parasocialism and manipulation would make this process even harder. So yeah, Lyle, she's going to be upset, and that's okay. Even abuse survivors feel sad about leaving their abusers. Emotions are complex. Also, Lyle only gets angry at his ex-friends after they make him look bad and he can't defend them anymore. If Lyle could have continued to sweep the Coyote Lovely and the misanthropony situations under the rug, trust and believe he would have. And let's look at something recent, like what happened with Hopeless Peaches and the Fruitcake Club. Lyle had the logs and chose to ignore them. That didn't work, so he had to change strategies. Oh, Peaches only made a KKK joke. They weren't involved in that other stuff. Wait, they, they knew porn's being shown to minors? Well, they were being groomed and experienced memory loss, so we should cut them some slack. Lyle was given evidence that his friend, child, affair partner person was guilty of doing the same shit that they have gone after others for. And he was more angry at us for criticizing Peaches than Peaches themselves. Where was that anger you were so proud to boast about, Lyle? Shouldn't you have been angry that your friend, child, partner was a garbage person? Just a little bit of both. No, it's only one for you, because there's no anger in your voice. You sure were going on a tirade about, let's just say he was bigoted to China. I have friends in the LGBTQ, who cares? So do I. I don't use them as a meat shield, you worthless piece of garbage. You god-awful parasite of a human being. You heard it from the Arbiter of Emotions yourself, folks. Apparently, he can read minds, too. If he doesn't deem you angry, then you're not. It's not like people can have multiple reactions to the same emotion. It's not like feeling a mixture of emotions can affect how you react. And it's definitely like Rosa being on the spectrum can affect how she processes and expresses emotion. No, not at all. Also, Rosa mentioned LGBT friends because she's bisexual and was happy to have a community. Being queer can be so isolating, so when you finally find other LGBTQ plus people, you're happy, you're excited, you can finally be yourself. Especially in Rosa's situation where she can't leave the house because getting overwhelmed can cause a seizure. Not once did she use that as a shield. I just... I just you just what? Know also knew things. Yeah, you did. You, you're the one who just told me. Now. You just told me it took her four days. You knew. You didn't care. Just didn't you did not care. Until now. You did not care. You did not care. You knew. You just told me four days. You didn't care. You wanted me to talk about Lovely Lena, so let's talk about Lovely Lena. Lovely Lena is somebody severely on the spectrum who gets a lot of parasocial relationship with people and needs to calm down. How was her knowing when a predator was banned an admission of guilt? Isn't that possible that she found out after the fact that someone told her this information? What is this? And no, she didn't want you to talk about Lovely Lena. She never said that. The only reason she was brought up was because Rosa was explaining what happened with Nekopon. I get the feeling this is it. Okay, I apologize to all the viewers who have been jumping in. My device has been acting up very bad. I am getting um, 
my newest one, I just bought myself a new laptop um, just today to get things up and rolling, but I have been listening in on the stream. So I caught your story, by the way. I caught your story, by the way. Um, Rosa, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Sorry for letting you get verbally abused for 45 minutes. That seems like a good place to start. Or, hey, Lyle, telling her to kill herself is a little too far. Hmm, just a suggestion, maybe. I can't take back the, I used to think of you as someone that was like, okay, she seems like a decent user. Maybe she's a little bit obsessed with these uh, certain individuals, but <laughs> what is there to say at this point? What, 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 what can I say? What can I say? This, oh my God. I just, I just. Don't say I don't, don't, don't want to hear, yeah, I don't, I don't want to hear you did. Wait, what did Peaches just say? Rose is a 30 year old bitch who caught Zayed a danger to kids because he hates the last Jedi. Then Lyle calls out Rosa forgave somebody who let a predator run to get dirt on Zaid. Oh, brother, shut the fuck up! No, Peaches, that is not what happened. Do y'all see what I mean when I say these people will twist things? Rosa didn't call Zaid a danger to children in this call, and she certainly didn't cite The Last Jedi as a reason. You're conflating two separate criticisms. She criticized him for harassing people. She said who knows how many of them could be minors, which is a valid concern that y'all shut down. And even if Rosa did say Zaid was a danger to kids in this call, she wouldn't be wrong. Zaid knowingly harassed a child. By this fact alone, he is a danger to children. Y'all really pick and choose when you care about children depending on the argument. And she did not forgive Crimson Mayhem to get dirt on Zaid. What is wrong with you? But Rosa's the liar? I don't want to hear you didn't know, okay? Yeah. Just based, based on your response to Crimson, you cannot tell me you didn't know. He outright said it right there. He outright said it, and then I hear all this other stuff. I'm like, I guess I'm I on. I have no choice. No choice with what? With what? She's going to cut them off, and she's so very sad about it. Again. Just a little bit of both. No, what you need to do is you need to get offline, you need to get a real job, and you need to find some moral values. Go to church. Lyle, you just told Rose to kill herself. You wish death upon three people in this call alone. You have been rude disrespectful, ableist, and verbally abusive this entire call, all to defend your friend who's essentially guilty of the same behavior. The most vile, hypocritical people always force their religion upon others and Lyle is the prime example of that. If these are the morals being taught in church, if this is the behavior that they're endorsing, then church is the last place anyone needs to go, frankly. Once again, who needs demons when we have Christians like you? I mean, I mean, uh... Rosa, Rosa, look what you're doing. Look what you're doing. You even almost put me on your guys' side because I was convinced that the people you were talking about were all these like insane, delusional people. And then this happens? Like, come on. You got to be kidding me. You got to be. Uh, I, I don't. She's troll shielding. She's worse than anybody no. she wants you to cover. And she just wants to throw other people on their bus so you don't cover. No, it's just. Yeah, you are. Don't tell me that. Don't you ever, don't you ever tell me no again. Bro, don't you ever tell me no again is crazy in every single context. That's some shit you only hear from an abuser. And Techno, you were shown that this nearly 30 year old man made a burner account to harass a child because he was blocked. Why does that not constitute as crazy? Why can't both Zaid and Rosa be bad for different reasons? Why is the concept of nuance so foreign within this community? It's just that- Because you have proven yourself to be a pathological liar. that has been thrown at me. Thrown at you. These what? are things you knew about. You knew about. You dishonest snake. You gotta be okay. Look. Oh my God. I don't even know. Like Rosa. The fact of the matter is, this is an example of internet horrors. This right here is an example of internet horrors. The whole two-faced delusion. This is something I talked about with Lily Orchard. Oh, it's bad when this happens, but it's okay when this is this is happening. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I don't even know what to, the reason I keep repeating myself is because you made yourself out when you were helping me out with putting in new people with this whole like, oh yeah, I, I feel like calling these people out because they're extremely bad and so on and so forth. Then you go and do stuff like this. Then you go and do stuff like this. I don't like people who are two-faced to me. Mm -hmm. I had that happen to me a lot before, okay? When I was an upstarting YouTuber, it took a bunch of people, mostly some groups that I was in a Discord with to tell me, look, before you go jumping on people's sides, you have to get the full story. Thank God this guy came in and told me how things are going on because if I had kept going, what I would have ended up. Uh, okay, how about the, what he said? I think right now you really do need to get off the internet and you actually need to start thinking about your life, okay? You're obsessing upon a guy for talking about The Last Jedi who he said is beating on a dead horse and then here you are talking about uh, a whole situation with Cartoon She and that that was a whole long time ago. And It hadn't even been a year 
It hadn't even been a year. It had not even been a year. Oh my gosh. To this day, y'all niggas still talking about the Hopeless Peaches drama. In this very call, y'all talk about it. It has been years, years, but we can't talk about the cartoon she incident. Now there's an expiration date for talking about victims, child victims at that. By y'all's logic, the Hopeless Peaches drama should have been old news after eight months. I know folks are going to try to argue that's different, but no. Since Lyle thinks talking about Raphael and The Last Jedi are the same, we're ignoring nuance. We're going to keep that same energy. If the cartoon she incident was old news after eight months, then so should the Hopeless Peaches drama. If Rosa supposedly getting offended on someone else's behalf was such an issue, then none of Peaches' fans or friends should have cared after eight months, by y'all's logic. But of course, that's not what happened now, is it? Funny how that works. And then y'all were the same people talking about there wasn't a time limit to talk about things when it came to defending Zaid's obsession with The Last Jedi. But now Rose is a bad person for talking about Zaid. Y'all get on my nerves. Oh my god. And I hear you say he's bad, he does all this, and then I hear you are knowingly defending and forgiving people who said, yeah, I could have fought a horrible person to justice, but I didn't because I didn't like the guy who was calling him out. And then I hear all this other stuff. Look, all I can say is stop acting like a virtue of justice, okay? I don't even act like that. I don't even act like that when doing internet horrors. Internet horrors is simply a documentary. It's just to talk about people who've done horrible things. Right. Uh, I, w I have to correct you on one thing. Crimson Mayhem failed to report, not because he, he didn't like the fact that Miss Anthropony was involved, because he wasn't. He just failed because he's a pussy. Oh, okay. Which is even worse, would you think? Of I'm so glad, like, after a while, I was following Crimson Mayhem, because keep in mind, I didn't know any of this stuff until then. I just, uh, I had to create a new uh, Twitter account, because the last one got hacked for some reason. It got hacked for yeah. some reason. But I had to create this one that I have now. I didn't know he did this! And then after, like, I started hearing, like, looking into, like, all the things other people were saying about him on YouTube, I'm like, wait, why am I following this guy? And I, if I were you, Rosa, don't do with the whole, like, heavy breathing stuff, okay? Maybe you are having a panic attack right now, or maybe you are nervous, but right now, all the stuff that's happening, you, uh, this has been exposed. Yeah, Rosa, maybe you are having a panic attack, but if I were you, you know, I just won't be doing that. You know, like hyperventilating because of anxiety and you not knowing how to respond to the situation? Yeah, don't do that. Like, I'm so sorry Rosa didn't have the opportunity to leave when they were getting overwhelmed techno. They have, it's been shown for who you really are. And I'm ashamed that I ever, like, this is, like, if you go on your Twitter right now, I've unfollowed, I've unfollowed you now. I know. <sighs> Oh, so you uh, know, so you were checking Twitter actively. Fantastic. So that's what you concerned yourself like I, about. But, but no, oh I, I'm just what letting this all sink in. What now, you know what scares me? What sinks in about this is oh, scares like, me under the other. What do I what do, what do I what do I say right here, man? Nothing. Nothing. You don't say anything. I'm just gonna cut ties. Oh, that's what we need to do. We just need my, you to cut ties. No, get no, it's not life. What terrifies me is that you're allowed to vote. I'm just gonna... You know what? You know what's also scaring me. You know who you. You know who you sound like right now, Rosa. You know who you sound like. You sound like Jonathan Ross, who would always like try all these things and do these manipulative tactics. I talked about it on his episode, and when he was I called see. out, what would he say? Well, I guess I failed at that. Oh well, I guess I got to start doing this. I guess I got to start doing that. You know what ended up happening to the guy? The cops were called on him, and now he's been off the internet because he went on trial because people because the court found him too insane. Now you're saying, oh, I guess I got to cut ties with. You're repeating the same thing he's doing. It's kind of weird because it's like a full circle, bro. What are y'all on about? Earlier in the call, Rosa asked Lyle, what am I supposed to do? And Lyle replied, get better friends or something along those lines. She was told to get better friends. But when Rosa says she's going to cut ties with Rebecca and them, she's being manipulative. What do y'all want her to say? Jingli, what do y'all want her to say? And did anyone else think the whole Twitter thing was unnecessary? Techno talking about, I just unfollowed you right now. Girl, okay? Is announcing that you hit a button supposed to be like a mic drop moment? I don't get it. And why is being on Twitter a reflection of Rose's priorities, but not Techno's? His equipment is malfunctioning. He's being told that there was a predator in Rebecca's server. Meanwhile, Techno's like, I got unfollowed this girl on Twitter right now. Like, I don't know. I'm tired. I just didn't know. Yeah, you did. And I will not hear you lie to this man I again. He's been kind enough to give you a platform for you to try and tell your value here. And all you've done is expose how much of a wordless piece of garbage you are. Mm, yeah. Know these so don't things. tell me you didn't. Yeah, you did. You literally, you're the one who gave us the information about your your stupid friend Rebecca. So how did you not know? How did you not know about Rebecca's situation when you tell when you're one who told us about it? Tell me. Here's one from Artistic Passions. Cut ties. That's oh my god. I just didn't know all these things. 
I just didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't know. Oh, please be sorry for me. was just kept in the shadows. No, it wasn't. You just told us about it. All of this was just kept in the... Sh I can't help but feel like this was kept in the shadows. But now... I just can't help but... But feel so guilt-written. No, you're not. You don't feel bad about any of this, because the minute this all ends, you're going to go back to being exactly what you were and doing exactly what you were doing. I just can't help but feel guilt-ridden. Cool. Go to church. Get offline. Get a real job. You're in your 30s. The fact that you haven't by now is ridiculous. I wish I I'm 37. Could. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you can. If people who have but... actual mental disabilities can, because I've worked with those people at different jobs, you can. You're making excuses, because that's all you know how to do. Excuse, excuse, excuse. I wish I can get a job, but... Not with a pandemic on that's going The pandemic's on. been over for a while, dirtbag. Go get a job. Stop making excuses, because that's what you're doing now, and I don't feel sorry for you. If this man tells Rosa to go to church one more time, what are they going to do other than tell her she's going to hell for liking other women? Like, truly, going to church doesn't fix your problems or make you a good person. Case in point, Lyle Convoy. And throughout these calls, Lyle and his minions will do this thing where they will just straight up invalidate Rose's diagnosis and lived experiences. Like they legit weaponize the cognitive abilities of other disabled people and use them as proof that Rose is lying or lazy. It's disgusting. There is a reason people say that if you met one person with autism, then you met one person with autism. There is a reason it is called autism spectrum disorder. It's a spectrum. Other people being able to work doesn't mean Rosa has that ability as well. If she or anyone else says they can't work, then they can't. You're not Rose's doctor or psychiatrist. You're a stranger on the internet. What is wrong with you? Lyle has this mindset that if you're 30, you should have XYZ. And this mindset is harmful to everyone, not just neurodivergent people. It's the reason people feel like they need to have their lives together by 23. Everyone is different. We all have our hiccups and we all go through life at different paces. There's a multitude of reasons as to why someone is unemployed at 30, why they live at home at 30, why they don't drive at 30. Like that's not indicative of your character or worth. And the pandemic never ended, Lyle. Like, there's a new COVID strand every couple months. We're still seeing people die from COVID-related complications. For all we know, Rosa or someone in her family could be immunocompromised. If you don't know her situation, you have no right to call her explanations excuses. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't. Yeah, all your excuses are gone. I think if you were smart, you'd leave. 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 Now we'll just wait for tech now. So we can come back and properly in the stream. The rest of the call is just a hopeless Peaches interview because we have to be reminded that they're a creep show victim for the millionth time. But remember, we're supposed to let the cartoon she incident go because it was a past event. Kick rocks. The way Rosa was treated was absolutely disgusting and each call only got worse and worse. After the end of the second Rosa call, she tweeted about how Lyle and the cynic stressed her out, triggered her PTSD, gave her nightmares, and made her suicidal. It's important to take into account that too much stress can cause Rosa to have a seizure, which can obviously be dangerous. Her multiple falls from the seizures is how she got brain damage in the first place. There's also the very rare chance of sudden unexpected death and epilepsy. To be blunt, if Rosa had that stress induced seizure, there was a possibility of her getting injured or even dying. Thankfully, thankfully, thankfully that did not happen, but the point is the Senate could have pushed her to that point. And in my opinion, they're probably hoping that would happen considering Rosa was told to kill herself multiple times. 
in the infamous four hour call, they read the tweets I just showed y'all. And in response to Rosa tweeting about her mental and medical issues, as well as tweeting that she was suicidal because of the last call, Senate proceeded to mock her, invalidate her PTSD, her epilepsy, just being truly vile human beings. Rosa Ray Ramsey was bullied to the point of being suicidal and the Senate did not care. Evil. While I do hate these people, I still don't wish harm upon them because that's just unhealthy and unhinged. In my opinion, if you're okay with the person you dislike being harassed and bullied, then you condone harassment and bullying, period. So what I'm about to say isn't some call to action or an endorsement of any kind. This is just my opinion as a stranger on the internet. If you participate in any of the rules of calls, you do not deserve a platform of any kind. If this is how you choose to utilize the platform you were given, you do not deserve it. This wasn't some mistake that can be fixed with an apology. This was the purposeful bullying of a disabled woman that could have ended in Rose's death. That Senate were hoping would end in Rose's death. So I'm not buying the excuse of, oh, we changed how we did our calls, blah, blah, blah. It should have never gotten to this point to begin with. A lot of y'all were grown grown. You knew exactly what you were doing. On three separate occasions, y'all saw nothing wrong with how Rose was being treated. In fact, you escalate your abuse. Y'all haven't changed. Y'all just learned to hide it better because that's how abusers operate. I mean, bruh, Lyle still has his Rosa video up. He does not care. Stop letting this man manipulate you. People have been told to leave the internet for much less than what these Senate people have done. I'm not cutting these people any slack. Delete your socials and never come back, please. In unpopular opinion, but even the people who defended Rosa at the end of the third call aren't off the hook. Y'all can catch this work too because y'all sat on this information for a year. Y'all have no problems making videos about literally anything else. But when a disabled woman is being verbally abused for hours, y'all want to handle shit behind the scenes. Y'all want to be mute. Y'all knew that Lyle Peaches and them were fake ass demons behind closed doors. But y'all are more than happy to let the facade continue publicly. So thank you for speaking up in that call, but y'all are still cowards. In conclusion, while Rosa definitely did do things worth criticizing, she didn't deserve to be treated like this. This was abuse, full stop. The Senate is filled with a bunch of hypocritical, abusive losers who need to pick on others to feel strong, and all of them need to delete this court and lose their platforms. But hey, all of this is just my personal opinion that no one asked for. I was originally planning on going through all three calls because there's still so much I want to say about what Rosa went through, but I, I don't know if I have it in me. Part of the reason this video took so long is because hearing abuse over and over was just taking a physical toll on me and I had to step away. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll talk about the second call and let Omnia handle the last one, but I'm just, I'm just very tired. If you made this far in the video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it and I'll see y'all in the next one. So yeah, bye.